Authorities in Hong Kong have charged Joshua Wong, one of the territory's most prominent pro-democracy activists, with organizing an illegal protest as they clamp down on anti-government protesters. We'll hear from Joshua himself in just a moment. Uh, police have also banned a rally planned for Saturday as the city heads into what will be the 13th consecutive weekend of demonstrations. As we reported this week, the protests have started to have a major economic impact on Hong Kong. Here's our Paula Hancocks with more. Police here in Hong Kong say that they have arrested more than two dozen people since Thursday night in relation to the recent protests, including this time around a number of prominent uh, pro-democracy and anti-government activists. The most well-known out of these is probably Joshua Wong. He was one of the leaders of the 2014 Umbrella Movement. He has been very vocal this time around as well and has been arrested a number of times and served prison time. Now, on this particular occasion, police say that he has been charged with uh, organising, inciting and participating in an unauthorised assembly. Now, he has since been released on bail along with a fellow activist and he spoke to journalists once he was released. I urge international communities to send a clear message to President Xi. Sending troops or using emergency ordinance is not the way out. We will continue our fight no matter how they arrest and prosecute us. It's worth reminding ourselves, though, that this is still technically a leaderless movement. Uh, the, the movements, uh, the different groups involved wanted this to be the case so that authorities couldn't just uh, take one particular leader into custody and then cut the head off the movement. It is still very much uh, being led by people on social media. Now, another development this Friday, we also have a report from Reuters saying that the chief executive of Hong Kong, Carrie Lam, had suggested to the central government in Beijing that they do agree to to one of the five demands of the protesters that they completely withdraw this controversial extradition bill which is where these protests started now according to Reuters uh, they say that, uh, that the Beijing government rejected that and said none of the demands should be agreed to now we do have calls into Carrie Lam's office we've also called the uh, the Hong Kong Macau Affairs Office for confirmation if this is confirmed though it would uh, show the protesters that what they believe is happening is in fact true that Beijing is pulling the strings uh, behind uh, the Hong Kong government and this one country two systems is under threat now looking ahead to Saturday we were expecting a very large rally uh, from one of the uh, the main and most peaceful uh, protest groups but that has been denied by police they say that they're worried about civil unrest so that particular group has not called for its supporters to come out onto the street they say they can't guarantee their safety but what we could see is a number of people coming out anyway now police have said that if that happens and if it is peaceful then they will act accordingly they have also said though that if protesters do decide to be violent they will take appropriate action paula hancocks cnn hong kong and prominent pro-democracy activist joshua Wong joins us live now from hong kong so joshua i want to start with what happened uh during your arrest just walk us through what you were charged with what you were accused of of doing I was charged by organizing, inciting and participating an authorized assembly outside of Hong Kong police headquarters. Two months ago, I was released out from prison and directly joined the strike that we described as the summer of discontent with our course on free election. It's no surprise that they will arrest me in the future, but how they targeted activist leader including me and other several lawmakers were detained in the police station one day before the mass rally happened, which just showed the crackdown of human rights and how Hong Kong government and Beijing have no intention to solve the political crisis by political system reform. They just try to conduct mass arrest and prosecution. I need to face the trial on November again and might be jailed on next year. But I will still continue the fight and urge government withdraw the extradition bill, stop police brutality, and respond to people's call. We need to elect our own government. Leaders of Hong Kong should not be handpicked by Beijing authorities. So, I mean, obviously you say that you weren't surprised by your arrest, but what do you make of this strategy of um, Hong Kong police targeting and going after 
leaders of past movements like yourself. You were a prominent figure in the umbrella movement five years ago, going after leaders like yourself who are tied to past movements and linking them to this movement, which everybody knows is a leaderless movement. We have more than hundreds facilitators engaged in this movement. And even they arrest me or other activists or lawmaker, people will still come out to the street. In fact, how the number of participants gather on tomorrow protest is not depends on the announcement or mobilization of structural war or not. So this tactics is useless and meaningless and it's just show that how Hong Kong government do not respect on the voice of Hong Kong people when we strongly realize that one country two system eroded to be one country one and a half system. So what is your message to Carrie Lam? Carrie Lam should realize that now is the time to listen to our voice. Our protests continue for 12 weeks already. Just imagine from the generation of millennials to the generation of baby boomers, the youngest arrested activist at the age of 12 is still just a primary school kid, but still joined the protest with his brave courage and determination, which means that Hong Kong people will never stop and we will never give up. We shall never surrender. So I want to go over what uh, the protesters' key demands are. There are five key demands uh, in this movement. Number one, the full withdrawal of the extradition bill, an inquiry into police brutality, retracting the classification of protesters as rioters, amnesty for arrested protesters, and dual universal suffrage, meaning for both LegCo and chief executive. Do you believe that China is going to be granting any of these? In the David versus Goliath battle, we continue our fight. Just like three decades ago, no one expected Soviet Union will fall, but it finally happened. That's why we just continue our fight and hope to let people to realize that we are the one confronting the largest authoritarian regime in the world. And we know that now or never, and that's the reason we urge international communities to pay attention to Hong Kong. We're just the one who have elected our own government. That's the election right enjoyed by people who live in Western country since last century. But if China, just in terms of what the demands are by protesters, um, where are protesters at this point willing to negotiate or back down? For example, if China came out and said, um, yes, we will, we will grant you the full withdrawal of this extradition bill, but nothing else on the list, would that be enough to calm protesters? Hong Kong people continue to fight for free election and universal suffrage since three decades uh, ago, even earlier than I born. So no matter what's the attitude of government on the extradition bill, we will still continue our democratic movement, just like what happened in the past three decades. But the most important thing is when government expect to have any kind of dialogue, how come they expect to set a platform for dialogue, but at the same time to arrest the activist, lawmaker, politician, and even ordinary citizen? It will just trigger more and more tension in the society. It's a must to let President Xi Jinping and Carrie Lam learn a lesson. Political crisis must solve by political system reform. And we know that mass arrest or prosecution is not the way out. It will just trick the people with even stronger determination because Hong Kong people are the ones who deserve democracy. All right, so you're saying that the scare tactics in terms of arresting you um, and Agnes as well will likely backfire. That is your belief. All right, Joshua Wong, live for us there. Thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate Thank that. Thank you.